Hello YouTube. In this video I am gonna show you how to make a bootable backtrack 5 on your USB drive. To do this you need to download two software. First one is the bootable software, make the bootable USB and the second one is the backtrack. Okay, as you can see we can download you need to boot in from Google so simple the exit file is here you can download you you should download this one and the next one is backtrack 5 R1 ISO 5 in this one also you can download it straight from the backtrack.linux.org or any if you use torrent you can download by torrent or anything after you download these two software, you can simply open the unit booting. First of all, I should select my distribution, distribution backtrack, oh, R1, R1, no? then I should browse my backtrack 5 R1.32 here. And then yes, and then you should show to the software your USB drive. But then I got only one USB drive I and then I pressed OK. It's starting to extract all the data, data on your USB. There is still thing I gotta mention for you. First of all it's here you can see in 39 percent it's the software seems like it's it's freeze but it's not just wait for like four or five minutes it's gonna work after that just wait and when you reach to this level you just wait and the second thing that I gonna mention for you why we need to use the bootable the USB bootable backtrack USB first of all it's it's really simple to use you just need to put the USB drive and your USB connection turn on your computer or your PC then press F11 to boot from USB and simply you inst you go to backtrack first of all and second thing that I gonna mention that it's for the people that they don't have the external wireless adapter, Backtrack cannot identify their wireless. And I mean that they cannot use internal wireless adapter as a device to inject data to the rotor or they, they cannot, they don't have, when they, when they, they search for the interface they cannot the backtrack cannot show anything as a s interface for them so before you boot your windows you need to boot your backtrack because of that we use the USB bootable so and as you can see here is a stock on 39 I just paused the video for a while and after that I will return back to you okay guys as you can see installation was a stock on 39% and like seven minutes eight minutes and after that it's gonna be finished so fast so okay as you can see it's finished now the installation on my USB is finished I can press the reboots now and then then when my computer is turning on again I press F11 and simply I will install backtrack on my I will boot by back backtrack on my computer thank you so much for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe and like my video thank you bye